October 23, 2021, in Atlanta, Georgia, two worlds collided. Two worlds came together. Rachel and Anthony became one when they tied the knot. They were surrounded by their closest family and friends and were set to begin their new life together. So on this Christmas of 2021, we thought it was the perfect time to look back on this amazing day. My heart keeps bleeding 
I need you now And if I can turn back the clock And make sure the light defeated and dark And spend every hour of every day Keeping you safe And I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what I've broken Oh, cause I need you To see Oh, I don't wanna hurt no more I don't wanna fight no more I don't wanna cry no more Come back, I need you to hold me A little closer now Just a little closer now Oh, oh, oh I need you to hold me tonight I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what I've broken Oh, cause I need you To see That you are the Anthony Paul. Take you, Rachel Scott. Take you, Rachel Scott. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Rachel Scott. I, Rachel Scott. Take you, Anthony Paul. Take you, Anthony Paul. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God who joins together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless in Christ the consent you have declared before the church, so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. <laughs> Bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Rachel, receive this ring. Rachel, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As my as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit.
Anthony received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. to you 
know the music dies And marry me Today and every day Marry me If I ever get the nerve to say hello Say you will mm. Say you will mm.
this event. Um, I'd like to thank Anthony's family for the event last night. It was a lot of fun to start this whole thing. I also would like to thank everyone who had something to do with putting this together today. And a special thanks to my wife, Beverly, for all her texts and emails and to do this. All right, I'm gonna make this short. Uh, Rachel, what do I say? Uh, she's got my namesake, Rachel Scott. Might be for a reason. If you know Rachel, she's kind. She'll do anything for you. Just ask Paige, her whole life, she was Paige's personal servant from about one to about 20. But again, if you ask Rachel something, she'll do it. I want to tell Rachel, I'm proud of her, the woman you've become. All right? Anthony, I'd like to welcome you into the family. I feel like, I feel like you've been part of our family from the first time we met you. All right, let's all rise and toast Rachel and Anthony to years of happiness and a healthy life. How we doing? How we doing? Thank you all for coming. All right, I got ten dollars if I can make Anthony cry. For those of you who don't know me, my name is John Howe, and I have the distinct pleasure of being Anthony's best man tonight on his and Rachel's big wedding day. So growing up, I always considered Anthony's family my second family. Uh, from picking on Joey and Alex after school and Jerry, um, to his mother buying me new shoes when mine were literally duct taped together and I couldn't afford them. They always took care of me, and I cannot think of a single time Anthony's family was never there for me, including today. Um, I still text Miss Christina every Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Um, now, I asked Anthony some time ago if there is anything I should not say while I'm up here. He told me no, everything was fair game. Now, I could spend all afternoon doing what best men traditionally do, and telling you every embarrassing story that we have had since middle school, through college, and basically up until today. But if you find me after this speech, I will gladly tell you all any of those stories. Um, but I would really like to take this time for the best man's speech to speak directly to the newlywed couple, if I could. Rachel, I would just like to simply say that you look absolutely radiant today. And I am so glad that Anthony found the love that I know he deserves with you. Um, Anthony, I don't know if you remember this, but the first time you introduced me to Rachel back home in Ocean City, Maryland, while she left the room, I asked if you were happy and how things were going. Simple question, right? All those years ago, even back then, you told me you had never been happier and you were going to marry this girl. And I am sure to remember that moment for this exact moment right now. Um, here we are. Anthony, the years we spent maturing together and the friendship we have is something I cherish deeply. Anthony, you were and still are the hardest worker in whatever room you are in. No matter what you do, you always strive to be the best at it. And that is something, whether you know it or not, that I always looked up to. You really taught me what hard work was all those years we grew up together. And so for that, I thank you. Now everyone says marriage is hard work. And if that really is the case, Rachel, you have nothing to worry about because I know Anthony will, just as with everything else he does, put his all into this new life and journey you both are about to begin together. I wish you both nothing but the best, so if you all would, please raise your glasses. I'm 
glad that I'm here to be here for this special situation. Rachel, I just met you a couple weeks ago. You're beautiful. Everybody clap your hands for Rachel. Uh, not many people know me here. I'm this wrestling coach. I'm the one that stole him from another high school. I'm the one that he was a state champion for. I just want to say that that gentleman is a unique gentleman. Those of you that know him know how unique he is. As a wrestling coach, most coaches can say the guys that are in trouble, the guys you need to pull out to be focused are the ones that do the best for you. That's not Anthony. Anthony was good. Anthony was great. He was an A student. He wasn't in trouble. He was unique. And he was the one that you can count on to be somebody that could be a leader in the wrestling room. He was very unique in that I kept him at heart. He was everything that I needed. When I needed somebody to lean on, he was there for me. When I said, I'm gonna give you $5 if you do this move, he did it. <laughs> and I lost money. <laughs> he was very focused, he was very successful, and he will be a great husband for you, Rachel. I can guarantee it. Katie Ann, Rachel's older sister. I'm Paige, her little sister. <clears throat> and um, first off, I would like to thank everyone for being here today and traveling all over to celebrate this amazing couple. I mean, look at them, freaking gorgeous. Woo! Um, thanks to Anthony's family for welcoming us with open arms. We love y'all. Um, <laughs> say a huge shout out to my mom for putting this all together. I know it wouldn't be like this without you. I don't know where she is. Um, I just got to start out by saying growing up we really had a great childhood. Um, all three of us were so close in age. Rachel was lucky to be smack down in the middle of Paige and I and all the cousins and everyone. Um, we did everything together, starting from long car rides in the Astro Van in North Carolina, got the three row seats, old school style, um, and then to driving to Ocean City, living with nine girls for a whole summer, we did that all together. Um, the best thing about having a sister is you always have a best friend. Rachel has the biggest heart. She would literally do anything for anyone. She always puts others before herself. For example, this one time. <laughs> Here we go. For some reason, I thought it would be a re I thought it'd be really good at cutting hair. I don't know. I was like middle school age. I had this great idea that I could be a hairstylist. So I said, Rachel, let me give you some bangs. Without even thinking about it, Rachel said, sure, you can cut my hair. So I went in with the scissors and cut them, and they were like this short, and they're this far back. So Rachel had to wear a little poof for like six months, and she rocked it and didn't care. I said, you look great, and she said, thanks. <laughs> Um, there's many other situations, but that's just the first one that came to my head because that just shows how much Rachel always sees the best in everyone, and I've always noticed that in her whole life. Rachel was only one year older than me, so we were always very, very close growing up. Um, she basically, we basically did everything together from our car rides to and from sports, events, and practices, and going to Walmart with our piggy banks, try to get pennies <laughs> with our pennies, see if we can get with our pennies because there wasn't much else to do. Um, we even went as far as to put two beds in the, make our dad put two beds in the attic to sleep together because we were so obsessed with each other <laughs> that most people were one person, just Rachel Page. Rachel Page. Which, not between. <laughs> and basically, I had to the point where I had to translate for her because she would talk so, so fast. No <laughs> one understand it besides me. Still happens. Yes. So, I am very grateful to grew up so much closer because she's an amazing sister to me and that we <clears throat> they just grew up so fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you can count on Rachel to always be happy. I mean, every time you look at her, she always has the biggest smile on her face. Get a couple drinks in her and you see that smile get even bigger from ear to ear and the hands swaying. So get a little booty pop. Uh, that's you. 
that one. Rachel had a very um, a variety of collections growing up. <laughs> the first they were all very interesting. The first one was starting with an egg carton. She will <laughs> deny to this day, but we had eyewitnesses that it happened. She would like keep an egg carton in her locker in her in her at school. And we don't know what why or the reason to it. <laughs> and she still will deny it. She's glad I brought it up. <laughs> and then the next one was she was kept collecting of mini grocery bags. So she would like walk into Walmart and like buy like 20 things and like put in like individually put it into mini bags. And she would like walk out the grocery store with like mini bags in her arms. <laughs> and then she would collect the mini bags and went behind her TV. And like in her room there was like this collection of like in a bin, and we didn't know, don't know why, or <laughs> what it was for. And then the last one was the singular dollar bills. So we would go somewhere, and she would have, we would be like one or two dollars, and she would have exact change, but she would break a 20, so she would have one dollar bills in her wallet, because she liked them. And her wallet would be like this thick, and we were like, what is the reasoning? She was like, I just like one dollar bills. <laughs> and we were like, okay. <laughs> and like, she, she probably still does it, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, growing up, Rachel would always say she would have a good paying job and a homeowner, and here she is. She's done it all. Yes. Her and Anthony met in college and lived in Edinburgh, then Maryland, and now they're making their mark in Atlanta. Y'all rock. They both are so dedicated to what they love. I know Anthony is the perfect person for Rachel. They're each other's person. Whenever Anthony is lost for words, I'm sure Rachel will have some to say for him. <laughs> And I have no doubt that they will fight through anything. Um, Rachel, I really want you to know that we are so proud of you. We are so lucky to have us, you as a sister and excited to have Anthony as a brother. Anthony, I want you to remember to say these three special words. You are right. When you're wrong, be a man in a minute. Whenever you're right, say nothing. Rachel, we want you to know we are proud of you and love you. Love the person you are. Never change what makes you you. We love you too so much, and we can't wait for Kelly to have a cousin. Yes. So on that note, everybody raise your glass. Cheers to the new couple. I was born town full of red pine trees county sign says follow your dreams westbound train makes the whole town shake friday night lies decide your fate born again in a church where the steeple's wide preacher preached book of john and my mama cried and meaning life was in verse two didn't make sense till i found you
just met you it seems like yesterday you opened up your eyes and I recognized your face you know that you're the one that we've been waiting for we're gonna keep you safe first time I held you in my arms I knew I'd love you all the way I took you in at night Another day has passed Every week goes by a little faster than the last It wasn't so long ago We walked together and you held my hand But now you're getting too big to want to But I hope you'll always understand That I'm always gonna lift you up And I'm never gonna let you down No matter what you do I'm forever proud of you I love you forever now I hear it through your eyes I see a world full of magic full of possibilities you know as well as anybody how tough this life can be but you've got so much strength inside you a strength I pray you'll never need down Time flies by Hope you realize that I love you forever now I'm always gonna be right here Always gonna cheer you on I'm always gonna I 
love you forever now. That earth on the sky, burning in your eyes. You look at me, babe, I want to catch on fire. It's buried in my soul, like California gold. You found the light in me that I couldn't find. So when I'm all choked up, but I can't find the words. Every time we say goodbye, baby, it hurts When the sun goes down And the band won't play I'll always remember us this way Lovers in the night Though it's trying to ride we don't know how to rhyme, but damn, we try But all I really know, you're where I wanna go The part of me that you will never die So when I'm all choked up, I can't find the words Every time To Rachel and Anthony, Sean and I can't thank you enough for letting us be a part of your day. We hope and pray that when you pull up this video and take a look at it, you'll remember how special these moments truly were. But in reality, this video is not about remembering it today. It's about 10 years, 20 years, 30 years and beyond when you pull this up and can look back and hopefully have had an amazing life because it all started on this wedding day in 2021. Friends forever, Sean and Mike, we love you dearly and wish you nothing but happiness. And the whole